Okay, very crudely connected. John's going to kill me when he sees this video. Um, we've got 48 volts connected. And you can see reflected over here, 49.6, not charged. So again, these batteries right here have not seen a charge in three years. These have been on there for um, only about half an hour or less. And now we're going to turn on the switch. We're going to still run off of these batteries, which are now a good bit discharged, 24 volts only. I think we'll go up to 36 volts, but input. But we're going to start this up again. And I didn't make the system to run it for lower voltages. Um, we're not pushing it very hard at the lower voltages. But you can see the back part bouncing around. So we're going to just get it started here. Yeah. This needs a little bit of a kickstart because those magnets are on the back are posing quite a big draw. But you can see now already the voltage is jumping up. And that will probably go up to 52 in a pretty short time. Not that it's going to you know, be fully charged anytime soon. But when you're talking about 10 amps, 11 amps, 12 amps maybe, at 22 volts going in. I would say the charging will be pretty significant. And so again, this is what you want to do with these systems is charge up a bigger battery bank and a, big, and a higher voltage system. The only problem is, as you can see, these neon bulbs are all on. These are the neon bulbs here. Um, now we have resistors in series with them, so they prevent them from blowing out. And, you know, maybe something's happening on these transistors, I don't know, because they're not coming on. Um, oh, I know what's happening there. There's, no, there's nothing, uh, you can see there's no resistors here, no wires going to them, so those aren't even being used. Um, they're just additional on the board, just like over here. So we're only using, we're using a lot less transistors than we could, but we don't need to if we're not going to push it that hard. So we're almost up 50 volts here, we can see. Still picking up speed here. I think we may add um, eventually here at 36 volts just to get it going a little bit faster and we can run the bulb at the same time as a mechanical load. Yep, see now we're already flickering over to 50 volts. So how fast can you charge batteries this size, 2,000 amp hour. How fast can you push them up with a 10 amp charger <laughs> for half the voltage? Again, the, the circuit is, the batteries are in series with each other. You can see here, this is the charging output. You can see the diode right here goes to this bus and all of these connect together going out here to this positive cable going around the other side to that one over there coming back around here and then the negative which you can see hooked up. Oh, that's just a jumper from that side to that side. The negative comes out all the way over here with, of course,
course, the wrong color. <laughs> Red. Here. And so we're, we're actually connected to um, the same terminal as the positive side of the charging battery, which is right here. So in this case, see, normally we would have these wires connected, but they are not being used right now. We're only running off of 12 gauge wire here, which is a little bit warm. And then here is the negative side of the input, which is going through the amp meter. As you can see, right there, there's about 12 amps, 21 volts, discharging those batteries. Pushing those other batteries up though. So again, we can charge up um, at 12 volts input, we can charge 300 volts of batteries. Now I'm not going to say it's going to happen in five minutes, but with batteries in series with each other, which that's not supposed to be possible. So these batteries are not going to hold out too much longer under a 10 amp load, but let's put another one on there for 36 volts. First we're going to just, well, I'll put my camera down real quick. Let's put this down here, turn it off. Alright, so now we are back. You can see the neon bulbs are much brighter because we are really going up there. So now we can see we're at 36 or 30. Well, it's supposed to be 36 volts, but the batteries are discharged. We're going up a little bit higher in amps, maybe almost 18, 19 amps. And uh, charging rate is increased, of course. But we're still not at 48 volts input. We're only at 29 and decreasing. So let's um, see what happens now if we add this bulb. Uh, again, what we have here is um, the generator coils here, the energizer coils. And what we're going to do hook up a little bit of a load to it. Of course, so we've got a bulb here running. Just putting a little bit of a strain on there, but we're only down to 10 amps now. I don't know if it will hold out. Might not. The batteries are, yeah, the batteries are not holding out for this, but... I think tomorrow what we'll do is we'll put, you know, bigger batteries on there, you know, the golf cart batteries, and we'll run this again. So you can see we're already at 24 volts of these batteries. They can't hold that kind of power. But we have to charge the batteries up a good bit. Does it charge batteries? Yes, it does.